Yeah, hey, because I'm just looking at people like, why can't they just let Linux work with all of them? It's Linux, man. It's Linux. I don't know. I'm, I'm that guy. I'm sorry. I'm that guy. I'm, I know you're probably thinking I'm a crazy guy to sit in the basement with 100,000 computers. I am. So just let me. <laughs> like, I said, like I said. Man. You know? Look, man, I, I be telling people all the time, man, I fix that shit. I'm surrounded yep. by computer problems. Yep. And one of the biggest problems I see is Apple. Yep. Viruses out the viruses. Yep. And I love it when people say, oh, my Max can't get viruses. Give it to me. Yep. <laughs> shit, I put a virus on a bitch. And I'm going to show you that it's just as vulnerable as Windows is. Yep. And getting back into gaming with, with with the Apple, you know Apple tried to come out with their console like a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. This is this was a classic. So what if what if we were talking about like PC versus uh console? What if Apple tried to step into the mix now? I feel like Apple may make a play for, what do you think if Apple made a play for PlayStation and Xbox gonna do their thing? What if Apple and PlayStation got together? That's what, yeah. I'm thinking that I, I'm, if that if yeah. something like that happens, it's gonna they're either gonna make a, a play. I think they would make a play for PlayStation because they're gonna want to be in the high end game market, you know. And that's gonna leave Nintendo out there to just try to find like or to work with both, you know. Yeah, but see, you know the the move uh, Nintendo made. Uh, you got Mario Go. Yeah. You got Pokemon Go. Yeah. And they on the Android. And the Apple market, there but they know. they started on the Apple no, market. Playing, so what playing. if Nintendo or PlayStation end up coming joining together with Apple? Yep. Or I, I would say I, I say this: I say PlayStation with Google with Android, mm -hmm. uh, Apple with Nintendo, yep. and Microsoft just Microsoft because Microsoft, yeah. yeah. But see, the, the thing is, all these games that play online is running on a Microsoft server. Exactly. So I mean, if, if if you have some Apple servers out there too, but not as many as you have Windows servers. Yep. So even with the Steam games, which is still PC gaming, yep. which and uh, a lot of the Steam stuff that's running on on Linux itself. Yep. So I mean, you still technically on the PC realm of it. Yep. So you gonna have to go between Android, which is a Linux base. Apple, which is based off of uh, a similar version of a Linux base, but it's still it's 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 a competition in the PC world, and you got Windows. Yep. So if the game and people, since games are already close to uh, computers anyways, yep. that'll be pretty smooth to see that transition over. But I think Scorpio gonna really take the move and really gonna change the transition of PC versus console. And that and that and that's a that's a needed thing. Cause like I said, I really don't. My beef with consoles is just really the fact that I just don't like being extorted every so often for that product. You know what I'm saying? I just don't like being extorted. But one thing about it, man, I ain't been saying that much. A lot of these consoles, they got like a five year run, and. Uh, Man, you know what I would do? Be honest with you, if I was some of these people, I was get I would get some TV manufacturers and see if they can build that shit into the television. Yeah, but the problem you gonna have with that, the problem you gonna have with that, is that that type of technology is gonna be too much for the TV to handle. Because you got a certain temperature a CPU can handle, a certain temperature a graphics card can handle, and the power we can handle. TVs uh, probably what about 40, 90 watts or some shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that ain't gonna dang gonna be enough for a graphics card. So I mean, you you talking about your power bill gonna probably be high as shit for God one. Damn. So I mean, you talking about some really some running into some problems with that. Let's just get a Nintendo Switch and be done with it. Switch. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I tell people, hey, go pick a switch off the tree. Switch. But uh, but yeah, that, I mean, so I, like I said, at the end of the day, I don't want to sound like that guy, you know. Like I said, because I always say to each his own. But the one big thing I gotta tell folks is, uh, really, I am a person. The reason why I'm more PC is I just know at the end of the day, at some point, the, the consoles become obsolete, in the sense that they just become another bobbit to sell to people who you know pretty much basically another way companies can make money off a niche market that's a guess that's what i'm saying it's just i know they got to manufacture these things but you're guaranteed to go ahead and sell a, a two to three hundred piece a dollar piece of hardware usually about three to four hundred dollar piece of hardware to start with then you're going to have like fifty to seventy dollar games 
and you know you're gonna go down that market and yeah you're gonna protect yourself because at some point you know you you're cutting down on the emulator crowd that's gonna go out and create emulators and and ability to play your game on other platforms you know what I'm saying which you know could cut into your profit margin you know substantially so once that type of thing is worked out I think it's only a matter of time before they just make that move like I said the biggest the big thing is I just say security um, I you know I think the security of the situation is what's gonna be big and what's going to be the limits of these uh, devices because here's the crazy thing if, if you just have a PC that's dedicated to gaming you almost got a console within itself because that's a you're back at the console door again uh, but my thing is I guess you know what I'm going to say this I'm going to say this I'm going to come around full circle with you here I will accept the consoles even more I will accept having a PC just for gaming even more it goes back to games we talked about this on the other show yeah. If you guys stop extorting, because that's the problem. They extort. They they not enough game come out on any system. What's the average number of games that come out, say for I, Xbox? I, I say, and besides Steam and stuff, let's not count the stuff like yeah. the little bitty other. I say releases. I say not for like like it used to. Yeah, like because like you said, Nintendo they had like a hundred games. games. They had a hundred games. Yeah, but like. The games now they don't have a like you see now games when when it's a console first launch they don't have a strong lineup. Nope. Uh -huh. The they uh when they, when they do decide to cut the card because each console have at least probably a six year lifespan. Yep. About a six year about lifespan. About six year lifespan. So even in the mid uh, lifespan or at the end you you don't go out with a bang. Yep. PS3 did not go out with a bang. See. They had some, they had some classic games but not like they used to back in the day like I'm talking about your, your GameCube days your 64 days your your, uh, your, Super, your Super Nintendo and the classic NES they didn't have classics like like them I, to me I think 64 went out, went out with a bang 64 had a good lineup uh, PlayStation 1 had a good lineup yeah. stuff like that had they had powerful lineups back then because I feel like back then it was more they was focusing more on the game but the tech wasn't really there but yeah. now the tech is here it's like they lost touch with the games and here's the here's question I have. Well, if that's the case, oh, watch out. They, you know, they lost touch with the games. Uh, and my big thing is, like I said, that they should, like on a, a previous show, I said that they should turn things over more so to the guys who are looking to do, um, you know, do it DIY games and guys who are just starting out in it. You know what I'm saying? You could turn it over to them. But here's another thing you could actually do. Uh, what if like PCs you know how we were talking about builders what if to upgrade you could upgrade your shell they had new shells that came out more powerful processors yeah. and they had a secondary market that basically you could either buy the whole new thing with them doing it and even better you could you know turn in your old shells and maybe get like you basically you'd have made that investment that exactly exactly yeah. and and basically you know, you either can get the upgrade there. You could almost set up stations where a person pay X amount of dollars and they can go and get the upgrade. Cause so when you buy in... Commercial break. Oh, there's a toll in the hole now. Ten bucks. Look, can I... Oh. <laughs> I'll take all your money right now. All your money. All right. I guess this is the night bitches die. <laughs>